Hi Virgo, this is going to be a general love reading for November 2020 for your Sun, Moon, Rising and or Venus signs. It is general, so it's not going to resonate for all of you. So you can check out one of your other signs. And also the roles can be reversed and you might be watching for yourself or cross-watching for somebody else. So let's see. What is going on with Virgo in November? Ooh. Some feisty energy. The answer is yeah. Yep, there's some feisty energy. Awakening. I don't know why I felt like I needed three for you. And contemplation. Something very positive here. Something very positive. There's um, some revelations that are being had. I feel like you are awakening. Possibly your person is awakening. And there is some contemplating about something. So let's actually get into it and see what this is about. I feel like this answer is yes. is something that you might have been thinking about. Um, something, a decision possibly that you're trying to make. And it's kind of like you know, you know which way you should go, and this is the universe saying, yeah, you know what you're thinking about doing, the answer is yes. Do it. <laughs> All right, let's see. So Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to be looking at your energy and your person's energy separately this time. <clears throat> and for those of you that have been following me for a while, if you've noticed the different types of um, spreads I've been doing, feel free to let me know which, which you like best. Like if I'm focusing more on you, and then you can just cross watch for your person, if you like your energy and their energy separately, or just any of the other spreads like specific, um, looking into specific issues like what the challenge is or what's being hidden from you. Yeah. All right, so let's see. For you, we have the Knight of Wands, we have the Moon, and we have the Queen of Cups. For them, we have Strength, the Seven of Swords, and the Page of Pentacles. And coming up in the near future, we have the Knight of Swords, the Fool, and the Hierophant. Okay, so it looks kind of complicated. Kind of does. entertaining the thought of somebody new in your life but you're not sure about it or you're thinking about doing something that you feel might be a little bit impulsive or maybe you're acting a little bit impulsive and you're not sure about it even though you know deep down your person is hmm, your person is a complicated one here, I feel. They're definitely learning something. I feel like they're trying to give you something, um, but it's kind of like they're giving it to you, but they're not giving it to you. It's like they're trying to, but I don't know how well they are at succeeding. But I feel like they really are um, trying hard here. We'll see when we clarify. And in the near future, I see some action. I see major action being taken here. When it comes to some some long-term standing commitment. It might be a marriage for some of you or it might just be a um, just a long-term relationship or moving towards that. Either way some action is being taken when it comes to to, to a commitment. So let's see. 
clarify the Knight of Wands for you. The Seven of Pentacles, the Eight of Pentacles. And the Page of Wands. You're... It's interesting because it feels like there's something really impulsive here. There's something new that you're trying to do or getting something new that you're getting yourself involved in. But at the same time, it's like you're working towards it. So even though it feels like it should be something fast, it's also feeling like it's like it's work um, or like it's taking a lot of effort from your from your part. <clears throat> So I have no idea what this could be. Um, that's just how it's coming through. I hope that you guys would understand what this means. Well, let's see the moon. <coughs> Maybe we'll get some clarity here. Let's see the Queen of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Five of Wands. Yeah, so it's like you're doubting yourself. I feel like that is what is keeping you back. Um, there's something that you're, it could be something that you're afraid of, some fear within you, and that is causing you to hesitate within your own self and it's conflicting you here, even though like again, and I said that before, deep down you know. You know what, what you want to do here. You know um, what is actually in your best interest. You know what is good for you, but you're doubting it. Let's see the Queen of Cups. The Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Hanging Man. Yeah, again, see, with the Knight of Wands coming up again, this is either another person, um, or maybe even your person. I don't know. I'm seeing it as someone else here approaching you. Maybe your person was in and out. Maybe your person was inconsistent. Maybe your person just has this tendency to be very impulsive um, as well. But I feel like you you're standing in your power in a way but it's like you keep procrastinating you want to take some action and it could be that part of the issue is like if you're trying to move away from this person um, it could be that, you know, you care about this person. You do have some kind of love for this person. And so this is conflicting you in some way. And this could be why you're doubting your, um, your intuition here. You're, you're, it's like you want to do something. You're ready to take, take a step in a new direction. And it's kind of like you keep working on it and working on it and working on it. But that's a way of procrastinating. And again, a part of that could be because you do care about this person and possibly you don't want to hurt them. Um, let's see for them. Let's see strength. Well, we keep getting a lot of... Um, wants here so and we do have strength here so you could definitely be dealing with a leo or just a fire sign doesn't have to be and i think i think the same came up for taurus but i'm not sure not sure but a lot of times all the elements they tend to have like a similar underlying theme um so all you earth signs you know might be undergoing something similar here um yeah so the king of wands the three of wands and the hermit It's like your, your person is really trying to be strong here. Um, they're, they, this person is waiting for you. 
and at the same time, it's like they're waiting to see what you're going to do. They're waiting, hoping that you are going to like come around, I feel. They're looking into the future and it's almost as if they, they can't see the future without you and it's taking a lot of strength from them to even sit there waiting to see what it is that you're going to do. So if you're, if you're trying to make a decision in a relationship, um, yeah, I feel like it's, it's almost like tormenting this person. Um, Yeah, I mean, at the same time, though, it is causing them to really do some introspection into their own self as well. So I do feel like there is a lesson in there for them, which I said before, even with the Page of Pentacles. Um, yeah, so let, let's see the Seven of Swords. The Magician, the Devil... And the King of Swords. I'm just going to take three. The card that almost came out was the Four of Cups. Which is some kind of disappointment. So I do feel like, yeah, they are feeling that disappointment. Within the connection, for some reason... Um, the Magician and the Devil and the King of Swords. This is coming off to me as a little bit controlling. Um... The magician can be manipulative when it's in its negative sense and together with the devil that would definitely be the negative aspect of the magician as well as the king of swords but both of these can be manipulative and controlling so it could be that your person you're feeling that tendency from them even though they're trying to be and even with the even with the strength here they're trying to be strong though they're trying to be strong but i feel like it's even though they're doing some introspection, it's like they're still waiting for you and they're trying, it's like, I'm getting a very powerful essence now. They're waiting. I'm almost even getting passive aggressive here with the hermit. <laughs> so yeah, I feel like them waiting for you is actually putting them in this energy of Trying, trying to control the situation. Let's see the page of pentacles. Temperance. Ten of pentacles. And justice. So they really want this to work out with you. And again, it's like they're waiting. With temperance here. Again, though, um, and now it's coming through even more strongly with the main energy here being the Page of Pentacles. I feel like they're having a hard time really providing for you in the way that you would want. It's like their offer just doesn't really mean much to you. They're, they're giving it to you. They really want this to work out. They're trying to be patient, waiting for you, but because they want this commitment with you. But I feel like they might be doing it in a way where they're still a little bit immature about it. Um, it's it's kind of like they're trying to be patient, but they're still impatient, but working on that, if that makes sense. Doing some introspection, but I feel like they're learning at a, at a pretty slow pace. They're healing something within themselves as well, but I'm mostly getting that, that this is them waiting, waiting for you to make a decision or waiting to see what is going to happen from your side, something to do with, with your energy. Let's see, this is, a, I, I said it was complicated from the beginning. I, I mean, I don't, I, I don't even know what the hell is going on here, to be honest with you guys. All right, let's see the Knight of Swords for the near future. The Fool again, the Ten of Swords. And the Nine of Wands. 
Yeah, something that you've been trying to take some kind of an action for a while now, and I feel like I feel like you're you're doing it here. I mean, we have the fool twice in the near future here, and I, this ten of swords that's an ending. Um, I feel like you're taking action on an ending, plain and simple. You or them. I mean, if this if there's a third party involved, and there can always in all of my readings, all right, guys, there can always be a third party involved, and maybe one of the energies applies to that. So what I'm seeing here in the near future is someone is taking an action to end something, and it's going to be big, it's going to be a big change, a new direction. I mean, I do mostly feel like it's you doing this um, to the person that you're possibly with, or to a person that you are semi with, um, but it could definitely be that your person is leaving another situation behind, okay? Take the messages as they, as they make sense for you. But something is definitely coming to an end, and it's going to be like, <clears throat> like a sudden just leap of faith after having, after having had a like a long trial of this. Let's see the whole. Four of Swords and the Six of Wands. Yeah, and I feel like it's going to be successful. I feel like, yeah, you know, it's not easy. It's definitely going to require some healing afterwards, um, whatever it is, some recovery. But I feel like it's ultimately going to be something very successful and lead you to a lot of success. It definitely could be, again, I just want to say a fire sign um, that you might be dealing with here doesn't have to be it's just what I'm seeing all right let's see let's see the higher thing two cups the six of Pentacles and the seven of cups Something is definitely going to balance out um, from this, from this leap of faith, from this action that you or they are taking. There's going to be some kind of a balance when it comes to this relationship. I feel like things are just going to level out and new options will appear. All right, there's going to be more alternatives, more, um, just more possibilities for where this, this can actually take you. So let's see. Well, Virgo, you are complicated this month in November. So if this was resonating, please do give me a like. And of course, subscribe if you haven't already. <clears throat> So we're going to get just a final message here for you and then close it off with an oracle card. Let's see, Death, the Six of Pentacles. I swear this was very similar to Taurus. So maybe some of you are dealing with a Taurus. Let's get one more. The Two of Wands and Temperance. Yeah, so this ending is bringing a lot of transformation. It's pretty much what I said before, that this is going to bring, I mean, Six of Pentacles again, this is going to bring a balance. I write in Temperance here as well. You making a decision is really, and, and taking the sleep of faith, is really going to balance things out and put you on that road to healing and I feel like this is going to be true also for your person and then again with the two of wands here it's just opening up the door to something else um, you're gonna <laughs> I feel like eventually this is actually leading you to having so many more options and alternatives in front of you so I kind of feel like you know this is saying make that decision Make that decision, choose your path. Um, the answer is yes, you are awakening. I feel like you already know what that is and you're just kind of contemplating about this. 
when it is when actually you know what it is that you want to do. All right, so let's see. And I'm not saying it's easy. Definitely not saying it's easy. You know, I mean, even if you want to be with this person, maybe you, you know, this is just what's going on right now. All right, so we have forgiveness. Nothing is gained by holding on to past disappointments. I feel like this might even be for yourself, you know, forgiving your own self. Um, you know, don't hold on to past disappointments, even when it comes to your own self. If you feel like you made a bad decision in the past, the past is the past, you know, forgive yourself and allow yourself to do what feels right in the moment. All right, guys, those were your messages. I will talk to you soon. Much love.